Hello, this is Foxboy Fixbar Gaming, and welcome to another top 10. This time, we're going to be doing. Sorry, let me just turn down the sound. Today, we are going to be doing the top 10 best boss fights. So, last time we did the worst ones, this time we're doing the best. Um, first of all, I just want to say this is my own list. Uh, obviously, everyone has their own. Uh, differences in terms of what bosses they like and which ones they don't. Some of the ones I have on my list you might be like, what? Why have you got them on there? But yeah, I just thought I'd just put that out. Don't worry about that. That's a trophy from, I think, uh, Exodus when we had it last time. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So number 10 is the Grand Thunderbird from Thorium. Now, I love the Grand Thunderbird. I think that the Grand Thunderbird is a brilliant boss that Thorium added in. Can I... Uh, use that no i did try adding a bit more stone so we could just basically fight them anywhere but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to trash them and spawn them via cheat sheets so grand thunderbird so this is him i'm going to show off his boss fight a little bit so what he does is he shoots things from the sky and he also charges and he summons like thunder clouds as well to rain lightning the reason this guy is number 10 is because I think he's a brilliant starter boss. I think he's really good. And do you know what? We're going to use a weapon from him. We're going to use the, um... Ow, it's been let me. Let me just heal. Uh, no, we're going to use the, the bow. Whatever it's called. The thing from Thorium. It's the, the grand... It's the, 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 um... I don't know what it's called, but you know what I mean. We're going to use that. Actually, no, I'll tell you what, we'll just use something else. Um, this thing, the Talon Burst, this is what I wanted. We're not using Luminite Arrows, we're just going to go get some normal weapon arrows. Right, let's use them instead. This is going to be for weapon. This is going to be for this boss only, just because I think this is the only boss which is this far up uh, in terms of progression. Let me go and grab Cosmic Car Key. Keep that on me. Right, there we go. So yeah, this is the Grand Thunderbird. He summons hatchlings as well. I don't think I said that, but he does. This talent burst is really slow. It used to be really fast, I remember, and then I think they changed it. I'm being really careful not to hover over some of the science because I had a lot of retakes last episode in the, the last top ten where I had to keep taking it because I accidentally showed off the the number one spot, I think. <laughs> But yeah, this guy is quite cool. As I said, he is quite challenging, especially since Thorium, I don't think, has hard... Thorium doesn't get pre hard wings until the very champion, I think. So, you know, it, it just shows you that, like, it's post Skeletron until you get pre hard wings in Thorium. So this way, you need, like, a Cloud in a Bottle, Samsung in a Bottle, Stor um, Blizzard in a Bottle. You need something to increase your jump height, like Frog's Legs or something, because when he charges, you need to be able to dodge, because that's what can deal the most damage. These hatchlings. I've never really used the Talon Burst before. It's an okay bow. Definitely isn't the best, obviously. As I said, it used to shoot much quicker, but I think I've nerfed it since. But yeah, this is his expert drop, I believe. I wish I put the Juice mod on, because um, then I could have had uh, the, the clear um, crystals. Oh well. To get rid of the rain and stuff, and the blizzards. Oh well. I have turned down the spawn rates, and obviously we got the peace candles, so we shouldn't be invaded by too many mobs. Where is he? There he is. There you go, we're wrecking him. There we go. And he has a really cool death animation too, which is awesome. So yeah, that was the Grand Thunderbird, and there we go, that's the, the bow. We also got Ridley Doom. It's quite cool. Uh, right, sorry about the blizzards, I can't really do much about that. Let's see, university. Universe, I thought you said university, yeah. Right, number nine. Number nine, I can't remember. It is, oh, it's Araneus. And uh, we can't do Araneus because we don't have an Empress stem. But what I am going to do is I'm going to summon her via cheat sheet. So, Araneus. Here's Araneus, she's from Shadows of Abaddon. She's a really cool boss. Oh, there we go. Let me put boss that on. So what she does is, I believe if you spawn her outside of this, she gets enraged. So sorry if you can't see much. I think it's because she's enraged. But yeah, I can't fight her because I don't have an Empress Den on this world, I don't think. 
even if I do, it'll be one of the old ones, not be the newer ones where our is required. So yeah, the blizzard also doesn't help really. Well, well. I think this is because she is enraged why she's doing this. Let's try different one. Let's try the blackout. No, star hailer. You can kind of see that, but she is debuffing you. You can see definitely that playing in rage against him isn't a good idea. This is the Necronomicon from my mod. I think all of the weapons apart from these two are from my mod. Alright. Here we go. Again, I'm sorry if it's a bit laggy. I can't really do much about it. I can't really do much about the fact that we can't see anything. I'm just going to close the tab just to get rid of um, a bit of story to be a more memory. What weapon should we use? Let's just go back to using the pump shot. This is a really good gun for my man. Yeah, the blizzard doesn't help as well. Let's walk over a bit to the left and then we can get out the blizzard. There we go, we nearly killed her. This guy used to despawn when Shadows of Abaddon, the, the new version came out. She used to always despawn, but then they changed it. Alright. Yeah, I really like Aaron Ace. I've never actually killed her in a playthrough because, as I said, in my Defender she gets enraged because it's technically not an Empress Defender that we have, so I can't fight her. But next playthrough I'll get her. If I have Shadows of Abaddon, then. Oh god, did I fall down one of the holes? Go. I can kind of see her. She's kind of like moving up and down now. Oh no, we found out of ammo. Bullets. There we go. Let's use this for a bit. This is a pretty good weapon. Right. There we go. Thank God for that. It's we've been able to see. But yeah, that was Aranea. Sorry if you can't really see. I know it was a bit annoying. And then she drops this, which is pretty good. I might actually keep that and use it. But yeah, that was number nine. I like Aranaeus. Number eight is Providence from Calamity. So, let's go and grab this. And... But... Now, against Providence, we don't really have too many good weapons, so I'm actually just going to go grab one. I'm going to go grab the Subsuming Vortex. Because this is one of my favourite weapons from Calamity. Oh my god, we changed this as well, but Oh, we can't attack you because we're outside the hollow. Okay, that makes sense. I can't zoom out any further, so sorry. But yeah, this is Providence. She is the... I think she's the third post movement boss from Calamity now. She used to be before Dog. Um, I think she was actually the first one, and then they got changed, so Bumblebird was first, or something like that. I don't know. This weapon's got changed, though. I don't remember this weapon looking like this. It's a bit more insane looking. Try not to go too fast because otherwise you'll lag. She goes into like a defensive state. If you stand on that fire, it actually burns. And there are these green flames that fly in the sky, and if you run into them, they actually heal you. And if you run into the red ones, they burn you. So, oh. as I said, I'm playing in God mode just so I don't want to keep dying. But there we go, that was Providence. Very easy boss. We also get wings, which is quite nice. Uh, Purge Guzzler. That's quite a good weapon. I'm going to keep that. Every weapon I'm getting, I'm just keeping. Right, that was number eight. Number seven is, I can't remember, it's, oh, it's Champion Rajar. Okay, this is from Ancients Awakened. This boss fight might take a while. Here he is, Rajar Rabbit, the champion. This is the rematch Rajar. Now, we are going to use the, the Subsuming Vortex because this guy has so much defense and HP, and he is ranked over... Um, Supreme Calaminus, so even the spirit of chaos from Blue Magic Squad, which is insane. Elements Unleash. I keep calling it Blue Magic Squad because that's what it always was, but it's now called Elements Unleash, so I'll call it that. A bit like how Shadows of Abaddon changed its name. 
I don't think he can move because of that. Let's just the purge go to live instead. Actually, I know what weapon we should grab. The, um... The Satisfier from my mod. I don't think this thing's reforgeable. Yeah, this weapon, let's use this, because this one's a little bit less insane. Now, if you do touch the floor, he does walk on it, I believe. Yeah. I haven't actually fought Champion Rajar in my Defender playthrough yet, so I don't really know what to expect. Right. There we go. What, what should we do? Let's try the Punch Shot. I don't think that does that much damage. What are you? Bunny Brawler, but he's invisible. A bit unfair. Don't fight an enemy that's invisible, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right. Let's try the Subsuming Vortex. It does seem to be the best weapon. This guy, as I said, he does have more HP, I believe, than defense than Supreme Cal, so... The only problem with this weapon is that it freezes everything. But we've done so well with getting his HP down so far. Come on. Let me just set it today. And then let's use the Subsuming Vortex for a bit. As I said, I think this is the most damaging weapon we've got. I think it does more than Satisfyer. Because it should do, because Calamity's weapons are insane. But then again, the ones from my mod are also pretty insane. So, um, they're called OP, so... Alright. There you go, his defense is going down. Alright. Let me just put the power amulet on just to get a bit more damage on this. Alright. Yeah, look how much damage this thing's doing. It's ripping through him. Oh, we didn't get rid of the box thing as well. Probably should have done, should I? Oh well. Actually, can I do that now? Is this on? There we go. Alright. There you go, he's nearly done for. We nearly got him. I really like his music as well. This guy before. The champion version, it was just a rematch of the other one, like exactly the same, but then they changed it to be like a proper different version. Oh, new music. This isn't the end channel. I've only fought the new Rajar once. I've never fought the new uh, champion version. I've never really fought him after that. But yeah, look, we're just wrecking through him. Definitely, if you've got Calamity in Ancient's Awakens, if you have the Subsuming Vortex, you will wreck through him. And then let's use this. Got the big one, that's quite good. I might just keep them. We only get 11 though. The Avenger. That's quite good. But yeah, that was Rajar Rabbit. Really good boss, I like it. And number 6 is Diaridus and Andesia from Enigma. Now, I'm not going to go down, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spawn them up here. So, the first form is Diaritus, isn't it? This is a four stage boss fight. Not mean to make that. But. Yeah, this is a four stage boss fight. I'm going to use these knives from Enigma itself. Oh no, these are doing too much damage. Do I have any really good weapons? Yeah, I really like the music of this boss as well. Let's use these. I never really use these ever. And I know they are pretty good for throwers. No, they're pretty crap actually. Uh. Sorry, I know this is a bit weird and we should be doing more. They do a lot of damage. Uh, sorry. Let's use one of these great swords. Well, that's pretty crap. What's it called? Great swords. I want the, the super one, the prismatic one. This one. This thing's been nerfed by the looks of it. But yeah, as I said, this is a full stage boss fight. I don't know whether these are better, actually. It don't do as much damage, but this doesn't seem to be as insane as what it, I last saw it was. 
Right. Does this thing from Ancient Awakened it is? Oh, it seems to like fire out some holding bolts and then some that aren't. It's weird. It's a cool weapon though, I like them. I like these great sword weapons. Let's use some of these uh, dagger fish, just because uh, these are quite a good vanilla throwing weapon. Alright. Alright. There we go, so phase two. Maybe I could use these now, actually. And Deja is a little bit more insane. Yeah, this weapon really isn't that good. It, it was okay, but then they made it worse. Come on, Ancients Awaken. This was a really good sword. But then now they've nerfed it, made it small and crappy. Well, not crappy. It can do damage. It's just, it's not as good as what it was last time. I need to make these auto swing as well because I've got Omni Swing on which allows me to have them as... Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Right. There you go, and then phase three, and then we got the fourth phase after this. I am going to use these knives now just because the boss fight is getting a bit long. I didn't actually know how much damage these were going to do to be honest. But yeah, these are doing a lot of damage. I think you only have to kill one to get to the next phase. Yeah, here we go, last phase. And there should be new music, yep. Yeah. It's been a while since I fought these guys in a playthrough, so... And then let's use these just to speed it up, just because I want to get onto the rest of the top 10. These are really good weapons, actually. These would have been good in my throw playthrough, but I, I added Enigma after, so I couldn't get the, the biome to get these, I think. And then we'll end off. We'll end off by using these dagger fish, just to be odd. Actually, no, we'll kill him with this. <laughs> there we go. And that's them. This is really good. It's a bit just weird though. Right, let's head back over to our arena. There's a bit of a random missing block there for some reason. Right, at number was that number six? It was. At number five is the steam trio now this is combining three bosses in one just because i i couldn't put these in separate lists but the reason why these guys are all together is because i think the idea of having like a mechanical boss kind of boss fights but they're all themed around steampunk is brilliant so we're gonna fight these guys so first of all we have slybertron he's quite cool we're gonna use the necronomicon i think I think the only one that has to be fought at night is the Annihilator, so we'll do him last. The Slybertron, this one's probably the worst one, I think, just because he's a bit boring. He does have kind of a second phase, but he's pretty boring in this phase. I'm trying to think what weapon would be good. What about this? This does a lot of damage. Let's use... What about these? Oh, there we go. It's into phase two. I know that he goes into something called like Hyperdrive, unless Enigma's changed it since I last fought him. Right, there we go. Yeah, this weapon does a lot of damage. You get this from the Halloween Mimic. It's really good. There you go. This is his, kind of his like phase three, I guess. I think that's the hyperdrive form I was on about. But there we go, that's that one. Then we got the Steam Train. The Steam Train is my favourite. I love his music as well. If you watch my top ten, I think the music came at number three or two. This guy is low-key hard. Like, every time I fought the Steam Trime, I've had problems. Because of his, that bolt to attack and the Steam he fires, it's so hard. There we go. 
go. Actually, we'll use a different one. Let's use the Frost Mother. This sword I never used, and he is pretty good. Right. There we go. Right. There we go. We're doing a lot of damage. Alright. There we go. There you go, he's nearly dead. As I said, this kind of is 3 in 1 because they are the steam trio when you fight all three of them. So. Alright, come on. Alright. There we go. Their main waves, they actually go through the form as well, which is quite nice. There we go, done. Right, so then there we go, and then the last one, as I said, is the Slybertron. Uh, not the Slybertron, the Annihilator. Here he is. I like the Annihilator, this guy's cool. Let's try a different weapon. Let's try this. Actually, not. It's too strong. What about these? Too weak. What about the, the blackout gun? Too weak again. This seems to be just the, re the only really good weapon. What about the Necronomicon? This is okay. Actually, this is pretty good. I'd hate to use a subsuming vortex side. There are only these homing ballistas that they home into them, the uh, the little other things, so it doesn't actually harm the the guy himself. How much damage is that to? That's a pretty weak gun, I'm not gonna lie. Let's use the frost monitor. This is a post plantera sword, so I'm expecting it to do well. There we go. The only problem is that these things are blocking the attacks, and I guess that's kind of the point of them. There we go, if I just stand in him. Let's fire up for a bit. I want to be careful not to show off some of the other bosses on their science yet. Alright. Let's use the Necronomicon. Right. This is a pretty good spell. Oh my god, look at all the lasers. This boss fight has definitely got a little bit more insane since I last fought the Steam Trio. I think Slybertron got changed too, because I don't remember him having three forms. I thought he only had two. But they definitely make him harder too. There you go, that is the Steam Trio. Right, at number five is. Uh, oh no, we've done the, the Steam Trio. Okay, so it's number four. <laughs> number four is the Lost Siblings from Shadows of Abaddon. These guys I quite enjoy fighting. This guy, basically, it's five and one. So, oh no, I don't want to do that. Let me use a different weapon. Let me use this. So basically, they're all themed around the pillars. We've got the Nova one, the Stardust, the, the Vortex, and then the Solar one is somewhere. I do have the boss set because for some reason my map's broke. There we go, that's Solaris. He's the Solar one. But yeah, basically, they're just themed around the pillars. And then the Quasar one, which is a fragment from... Um, Shadows of Abaddon, he's the final one called Nevaniel, and he spawns after you've killed all of them. Right. There we go. Now these guys you have to fight at night, because obviously the themes around the pillars, um, and like the, the whole space thing, it kind of works with you happen to be at night. Right. Now, depending on which one you leave last, they all do a different attack. So say for example, if you leave the Stardust one last, he does like a, a star, like prism thing attack. 
if you leave the, the solar one, it does like like a fireball barrage, and if you leave the vortex one, she leaves light. And the nova one, I think, just like fires a laser beam. Like depending which one you leave last, it, it depends what they do. It's been a little while since I fought these guys. They used to be called the Lunarians, but now they're called the Lost Siblings. Um, I don't know which one I prefer. I definitely have gotten used to the new name before. I just used to want to call them Lunarians when they got changed, but I've kind of got used to it. I did do my weapons versus bosses against these guys, so if you do want to see me fight, I can't remember what class I used, but I did fight them with a bunch of weapons. I think it was Mage I used, so if you do want to see me fight these guys with a bunch of different weapons uh, um, of a class, then definitely check it out. It was pretty hectic, because I never had fought the rematch of these guys. Um, until then, so they, it was pretty intense in my first reaction of these new of their new boss fights. I didn't even know that these guys were the lost siblings. I thought it was a whole new, different boss fight. Right, Dust died. That's the the, the Stardust one. He's gone. I think we've only got three left now. Yeah, here comes Solaris as well. I think Solaris might be the last one. Just because he does seem to be taking the less damage, and Calamity's weapons, they definitely hurt, so... I want to get through Solaris, just because he's kind of annoying. Let's kill just whichever one comes first, really. Alright. This Purge Guzzler from Calamity is pretty good. Maybe I should have kept the Rogue Weapon as well, the Molten Amputator, because that's quite good. There we go, Fox is gone. I think Noob is going to go next. Oh look, she's doing that light... Oh no, she's not last though. Maybe it's a different attack she has. I kind of want to kill Solaris now, just so I want to see. Oh no, he's doing lightning as well. Yeah, I kind of want to kill Solaris just because I want to see what Noob's final attack is, because I can't remember. Where is he? Right, let's just use this. There we go. Is it just lasers? Is that it? Oh no! Oh no, she gained health! Oh no, she's doing like a barrage of different mage attacks. Okay, that's quite cool. I'm just gonna finish off with that. Right, this isn't the end of the boss fight, we've got Nathaniel now. It's not over yet. Where is he? Nathaniel. Where is he? Here he is. He doesn't have a boss head. Now, if you're playing in true mode, you have a countdown before he despawns. This guy is pretty insane. Let's use this. No, that's too much damage. What about this? The staff of blushing. I've been saving these weapons. Too much damage. Yeah, Nathaniel is really cool. He disables your flight, which I think is awesome. But it's obviously awesome for me, but it's an awesome attack idea. I really like Shadows of Abaddon. It's one of my favourite mods. And definitely this remap, this new um, Lost Siblings, which the word Illuminarians is much better. But yeah, let's just kill Nathaniel with this. There we go. And then he drops a bunch of different things. This is a really good weapon. I remember that from my uh, my uh, major run. That was a brilliant weapon. Um, right, number three. Number three, I already know, is Yaren from Calamity. So let's go and grab Yaren's egg. Um, which way's the jungle biome? I believe it is to the left. So if we just go over home, and then if we set it to day, we can waddle over to the to the jungle. I haven't got many accessories, by the way, just because I kind of don't need them. Um, to fight the last boss, we are actually going to need a certain accessory. Uh, if you know, then I'm going to need that. <laughs> this will probably be a good idea of what the number one boss is. Um, but yeah, I just need that. So let's go fight Yaren. Also, I kind of want to grab... The Arc Tesla armor. Uh, which one gives the most? It's this one. The the melee one. That does quite a lot of damage. I am using mage though, so maybe I should have a mage. Actually no, because it'll be fine. <laughs> right, Yaren. 
Here we go, and he's massive. I don't remember him being this big as well. Have they changed a bunch of the boss fights? Because this one seems to be massive. Right. <laughs> Here we go. I think this episode's going to be slightly longer than the other one because we are having more powerful bosses, so we've got calamity in this list, so... We don't have the Crystal Man from Tremor, so I have to use this, um, Cosmic Car Keep, but even though the Crystal is my favourite modded mount, say it's from Tremor, but he is really good to be fair. Now this guy's a two-stage boss fight, so what we actually might have to do is only do the first fight, because for the second one you need to do the Solar Eclipse again. So, yeah, I think that's actually what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to just do the first fight. What I should have done is killed him first time and then went and did the second fight in this episode. I think that would have been much smarter. But I oh won't. Well. Hopefully they'll let me off. Right, the subsuming vortex is such a good weapon. Right. Yara and I remember the first ever time I ever fought him. It was sort of. There we go. Oh no, he's not done yet. I think soon he is. It is quite annoying though, especially when you've done so well and then you have to do it all over again. It is annoying. I think I've escaped his arena. This guy's meant to have an arena, a bit like Supreme Cal, but you can get through it. The next two boss fights might take a while. Yeah, there we go. I can't fight the second one, and I'm not doing the Dark Sun. But you know what I mean. Basically, this is a really good weapon. This is really... That's an okay weapon. Chicken cannon. That's an okay weapon. This is a really good weapon as well, but I want to use this mainly. Because I know this is a really good sword. Right, let's head home, and then let's go and do the, the last two spots. Let me put that on, why not? <laughs> Yaren's Gift. Uh... There we go. Sorry, I, I was just, I'm very particular. Right, here we are. Number two. Number two is Supreme Calamitas, obviously. Um, I think a lot of people probably would put Supreme Calamitas in two or one, but there is a boss which I much prefer at number one. Well, I wouldn't say much prefer, but definitely it's a much more cool boss fight. And uh, I think everyone will know what it was if they watched one of my more recent videos. Sepulcher. Now, to kill this guy, you have to kill all these brimstone parts, which spawn from them um, in the fight. And then once you kill all of these, the, the um, worm, the sepulcher, will die. Um, or you could just kill the worm without killing the heart, but he only ever takes one damage onto one critical, so you might as well just kill the heart. Let's shoot this. This this sword is so good. Oh, wrong weapon. This one. I think this weapon you can actually make after the armor, so you can definitely get it afterwards. There you go, let's just tap these hearts. Right, there we go. There we go. Yeah, this weapon definitely seems to have been buffed, the, um, the subsuming vortex. I don't know whether because I've spawned it near the floor, whether it's not going to help, because obviously I've not got as much of arena space. There we go. I am doing lots of damage. Now this guy is a four stage boss fight as well, a bit like the Diarrhea and Amnesia, uh, but his fight is much more intense. This guy not many people can kill, but I, I really like him. I've killed Supreme Calamitas before. I killed him on my Mage World and I was so happy when I did, because I had not killed him before up until then. And this guy is pretty tough, so, but not as tough as the number one spot. I think everyone knows what number one's going to be, but, you know, I'm just going to wait anyway until saying it, but I think it's pretty obvious what I'm close to number one, so. Right. 
because he had the substitute vortex. This guy, I think he has less defense and health than Rajar. Actually, no, I think he does have more than the champion Rajar because he seems to not be taking as much damage from this. The champion Rajar was taking a pretty big beating from this. Like, you get dead throws. Well, this guy seems to be immune to the throws. Alright. <laughs> I think this is phase two. Might be wrong, man. Oh, this is where you like you do a bullet hell, and then yeah. <coughs> okay, we're still on phase one because the music hasn't changed. The music changed to four different stages during the boss fight. Where is he? He doesn't get affected by. Oh no, he does. I must have had it turned off. That's probably why I couldn't see the manual on the map. That makes more sense. It's because my map doesn't work, so I have to use boss cursor for now. The boss cursor is alright, so... Right. We are doing a lot of damage. Well, we're dealing a lot of damage, is what I should say. Whenever I say we are doing a lot of damage, it doesn't mean like... Like, it doesn't mean I'm taking a lot, but I'm not. I'm dealing a lot. There you go, look at this. How much damage are we doing? I know we're playing on god mode, so all these fights have been pretty cheesy. Like, obviously, if I die, it will be, or close to death, it'd be a bit more intense. But I just want to show off their boss fights. I don't want to actually fight them and, you know, try to win against them. I just want to fight them and try and show off as much of their fights as I can. Right. Actually, I know what mounts we could have. Uh, where is it? It's this thing, where is it? This one, Purity Shield. Really good mount from Blue Magic to Mars. Um, Elements and Leash. Sorry, I keep calling it that just because that's why it's called for the longest time. You need to use the WISD keys to control this thing, which is a little bit annoying. But oh, well. Actually, I think that's how the Cosmic Arky works. I'm not quite sure. Is this phase two? This is phase two. Right. As I said, normally you'd be dodging this like a bullet hell. At one point, this guy was the toughest boss in modern terrarium, and then they added it to a new one. So, you know, this guy would have probably been number one if there wasn't an even tougher boss. So. I don't know, I like Supreme Calamitas. I, I have killed him, as I said. Oh, and now we've got the brothers. These guys you have to kill. And these guys have a lot of defense. You can see the Calamity mod adds in their own health bar mod as well, which is a bit annoying because it means I've got two. But that one does show mini bosses while the, the other one doesn't, so. Right, so What I might do is I might actually go and grab the the, the mage on it tells. The mage one? Which one's the magic one? It's this one. <coughs> so now we're doing 8, 4, 7. There we go. If I do that, now we're going to deal more damage and then I can switch to the other one. Alright. Yeah, this fight is a bit longer now. Actually, can I butcher them? No, I can't. Um, I think they've been put immune to it. I know a lot of bosses have had that. <laughs> right. And then we still got the other one to deal with as well. Right. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to fight these guys again, so these guys are pretty annoying. I think you could butcher these guys before, but then they changed it so you couldn't. There we go, and then the other one. I said it's a bit annoying because it don't take too much damage. These guys do have a boss curse as well because they have boss head. <coughs> as I said, I think we have to fight these guys again as well. A bit annoying. Well, well. Right. 
We are doing a lot of damage though. There we go, right back to the fight. <laughs> that took a long time. Let me go and grab the, um, the sigil from Shadows of Abaddon. I want the, the maze one. So now we're doing 977, there we go, more damage. Got a bunch of accessories from Blue Magic that I do want to grab. There we go. Go. This guy does spawn in arena, but you can kind of break it if you spawn it on the trees or something. Or chests with items in. It's quite cool. We're going into phase three. Right, this is where the big uh, brimstone thingies come in, isn't it? Orbs, yeah, these things. Ones that look like angry faces. I think they're actually meant to be planets or suns. But they do just look like angry faces. I think that's the point of them, but whatever. Say so this is the final Calamity boss. There used to be another one after him called the Lord. But the Lord was like a bonus one, like you didn't have to kill him for progression. To be fair, you don't actually have to kill Spring Calamitas for progression, but everyone does because I like the challenge. I always take on Spring Calamitas whenever I've got Calamity, because you know, he's, he's kind of the boss everyone thinks of when they say Calamity. It's either Yaren, Devourer of Gods, or Supreme Calamitas. That's normally what people think of. Right. There we go. He is nearly dead. Come on, Supreme Cal. I'm just getting started, oh god. Yeah, these brimstone hearts normally do so much damage. I can already see Supreme Cal's gonna get buffed. I can already see it to put him over the, the new blue magic boss. Even though I quite like the point where Supreme Cal is at the moment. And oh god, we got another salt vulture thing. I, I knew he was coming back, but I didn't know when in the fight. Let's just kill as many of these hearts as we can. Now let's do the other side. There we go. He's trying to block the hearts, which is quite weird. I don't know whether his AI is designed to do that, but there we go. That's the worm gone, and now just for Supreme Cal. I think he's nearly dead. There we go. I think he's dead now. You will have to dodge still. There you go, we're on to the last part. This is a part of the song's called Grief, I believe. But yeah, he's about to die. And that is Supreme Cal. I really like Supreme Cal, I mean, it's a really good boss. 300, I don't think they're as good as the Rajar stuff, no. Right, let me go and grab some of these. The big one. Now, let's get on to the final boss. What is number one on my boss list? Well, it should be pretty obvious what it is. Of course it's going to be the blue magic boss. Like, why would it not be the blue magic boss? And have I just turned that on back to? I didn't mean to. But yeah, let's fight this guy. This guy's pretty insane. But before we do that, I want to go and grab... A bunch of accessories. I want to go and grab. If I type in purity, there should be a bunch of accessories, I think. I think we can use that. Uh, no, what's it called? It's like emblem. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I well, know there's a stone, I think it's called. No, what's it called? Let me have a look for it.
blue magic. So I want wherever they are. They got this one, uh, that, that. I don't need that. I don't think. Uh, source of seal. Why not? Um, and that one. There we go. And then we got these as well, which I think we can use. Oh no, wait, we can't use that. But there we go. Whoa. Jake's a Phantom Blade when swimming. That's quite cool, I guess. Oh, we got Calamity Assassins as well, which is nice. Right, the Blue Magic Boss. I've only ever fought this guy a few times, and he's immune to the, the stupid buff that you get from. Now this guy I haven't killed before. I know he's very tough. I I actually got quite close in the episode where I fought him for a one-off. But I'm not I'm not intending to kill this boss because I don't know how. I haven't killed him before. Oh there we go. We're doing pretty well. Oh Astral Collision. Now this guy, there are two parts of his fight. You do actually have to use another um, like spawner for the second part. There we go. Don't crash on me. No, the lag. Lag almost killed me then. I'm so tired. So am I. Oh, there we go. Return of the Snow Queen. Oh, I haven't done this part before. Okay, so we just have to fight them. Okay, this is easy. Well, it's not easy, but the, the idea of the fight's easy. No! No! <laughs> I'm never going to kill that boss. Well, I think I will eventually, but that was hard. Right click to focus camera on the entire boss. Right, let's give it one more try, because I actually really like this boss. It's why it's my number one. Oh, this is a pretty good weapon as well, the Dancer Blade. So apparently you can use right click. Go. So if I right click, it focuses on the whole. I am right clicking, it's not doing anything. It's really hard to dodge. I think the whole point of that is to kind of get rid of a bunch of your health. Apparently, it says I should be able to right click during the fight, but I can't. Oh no, I got rid of it. Do I have to right click with this? Oh, okay, makes sense. Okay, this is much easier. Let's do it like this. I did not know, I knew you could zoom out, but I didn't know how. Ah! I am going to kill this boss at some point. Oh crap. <laughs> right, do you know what? They always say three times the charm. So let's give it one more try. I really like this boss. <laughs> if you can't tell, he is... Um, I, I really, I'm really getting into like fighting this boss. At the start, I wasn't so keen on fighting him, but... Now, I, I just want to kill him. <laughs> That's literally just what I want to do. Let me just make sure. 1523, 1543. There you go. If I do that, this does make it a lot easier. Oh, you can do it like that. I bet this looks so cool in this form. Yeah. I don't know whether it's harder doing it like this, though. Oh, here we go. Ah. Uh, oh. The purity shield does make this a lot easier. To get the purity shield, don't you have to kill the, the spirit of purity? It would make more sense, wouldn't it? Oh, there we go. I just need... It's this form. This form is the one that always gets me. Ah, I just want to get to the next phase. Oh, 
There we go. Right, next form. I really like the, the music of these boss fights too, I think they're awesome. There we go. These boss fights are really hard though, this boss. Oh no. Right, three time wasn't the charm. I definitely want to kill that guy at some point, but yeah, that was my top 10. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely am very happy with the bosses I've got on my list. Hopefully you are too. Um, oh god, have I just summoned him again by accident? Uh, do you know what? I'm just going to leave. <laughs> right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!